For the cookie dough, you will need 300 grams of plain flour, 200 grams of softened butter, 150 grams of granulated or caster sugar and one medium egg. To decorate, you will need edible silver balls and 100 grams of white chocolate. Mix the butter. Add the sugar. Add the egg. Mix in the flour until crumbling. Next, combine the dough using your hands. I like to do small handfuls at a time before briefly kneading it all together. If you have any cuts or skin conditions, it is always a good idea to wear gloves when preparing food. Keep mixing and kneading until the dough all comes together. Cover the dough with cling film and refrigerate for 30 minutes. To make your treat, you will need a set of star cookie cutters. I bought these from a pound shop, but you can buy them online too. On a floured surface, roll out your dough. I like to do this between two sheets of baking paper to help prevent the dough stick into the rolling pin. To make one tree, I ended up using three stars of each size, but only one for the smallest. In total, I made three large cookie trees, but you can make them using one, two, or even four of each size, depending on how big you want them. Each cookie size will have a different cooking time, so when it comes to baking, I put each size on separate pieces of baking paper to make it easier to transfer the cookies in and out of the oven throughout baking. Of course you can bake each size separately, but in a small oven it would take ages to cook each batch. Whichever way you choose, do not move the cookies individually without being on a sheet as they are really soft until cooled so will break easily. Bake in a preheated 170 degrees Celsius oven until slightly golden. Once the cookies are cooled, melt the chocolate. If you'd prefer, you could use icing or frosting instead. Pour the chocolate into a piping bag and leave for a minute to cool. The firmer the chocolate, the more control over the piping you will have. Place the cookies on a baking sheet. Cut a very small hole in the end of the piping bag. Decorate each cookie however you like. I simply piped around the edges then crisscrossed through the center for a rustic look. After piping a handful of stars, add the balls to each point before the chocolate sets. For the top star, I added an extra silver ball to the centre, as this star will stand on the top of the tree. To assemble, I simply stacked each cookie on top of each other once the chocolate had set. If, however, you are gifting or taking the cookies out of the house, you can glue the tree together with a small blob of melted chocolate between each layer to secure them. For the top of the tree, add a small dot of melted chocolate to the bottom points of the star and base then hold into place for a minute until set. Finally, add the top stars to the tree. Thanks for watching!